everybody. So I just wanted to pin this little um, ending to the videos. So within the past couple of days, we rewrote um, the ability in Python to pull data through an API being Spectrum and PM. Uh, PM's backend is called DA. So you might hear that term loosely. Uh, we also had logging. We used things like uh, Beautiful Soap, which is a package. We used REST, of course. And we use the XML piece of Beautiful Soap, which isn't it isn't always common, right? Because most people think of Beautiful Soap, they think of HTML. Um, and then what else did we do that was kind of cool? We used Pi install, and we also built it on a Red Hat, given that I'm using a Mac with an M2 series. Um, and we also downgraded our agents, and we built it inside Docker. Now, I just wanted to show you this real quick. Um, this is Spectrum. Okay, and if I go to, if I log into Spectrum, this was the API that we were using. And if I click on documentation, now I can see all the, so this is what I expect from a Swagger. Okay, and there's a lot of stuff in here. We should see, we'll get all devices. That's a post, there's models. Here's landscapes, right? So we could pull the landscapes if we wanted to through the API. Um, <clears throat> We, we kind of passed it into a file to give the customer a little bit of control. Here's your devices, right? So start time, throttle size, that's where we were passing in. Uh, landscapes, right? So we passed that in. So this is where you can come in here and see what you're looking for. Um, I'm not an expert on this. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on this. Is there more? No, probably just this one. Whoa, that's ugly. Um, just because I'm not a spectrum guy. Okay. But I, I, I am a developer and I know APIs. Now, when you look at the DA, which is PM, when you put in the API for it or the URL for it, you have to put rest at the end of it. And then it's going to ask you to log in. And this one is just kind of dirty. I mean, th this is just like years and years of probably adding to this and never, never cleaning. Um, so if you remember swagger though, was, returning O data. Okay. Yeah. See XML. So this, let's see if we can kind of find something here that's useful. Um, let's just click on router. And if I click on it, <clears throat> this is what it kind of looks like as far as documentation. These are the attributes I can get back. So device type. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff in here. It's just not a very friendly user document. It would take you time to find stuff. But if I click on it, it gives me an example of what it looks like. Um, and this may be the actual file. I don't know. So it may not be example. Maybe the real thing. It may have executed that. It looks like it might have did. Um, but my point is, looking through this, it's not really straight in front of your face of what you're pulling back, right? So if I wanted to find CPU usages, I know there was a thing for CPU up here. So if I click on this one, and if I just pull this back... Um, is filtered device so I can link the devices if I wanted to. Um, so I don't really know. I don't see anything that looks like a metric. Maybe statistics, maybe. Nope, there's no metric in there. So you'd kind of have to go and just play with it to see what data you get back. I, I'm going to be honest with you, the word, the support, Broadcom support may have this information. I don't know because I had somebody working with me. Uh, but I just wanted to show this to you, right? So you so you know what this looks like that we were working with. Um, again, this is the one click, which is part of Spectrum. If you can get to it, click on your APIs, you'll get a swagger, which is good. It's not very, it's not as big as I thought it would be. I figured there'd be a lot of stuff here, but obviously there's not. Uh, but here's our events. We did um, devices and we did rules. Oh, profiles, not events. I'm sorry, profiles. Let's see. So profiles, let's create this, delete. I don't really see it. So there must be other things in these models. Let's see, is there, there's landscapes. They're not really about a quarter, are they? Um, <clears throat> so let's just click on one of these. Let's maybe neighbor. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, it's nothing. Okay, well, I didn't dig in deep enough. Let's see, global collection. Yeah. No, nah, it's just a schema. Okay, so, but anyway, the point is, I don't know how helpful this is or how useful this, but I wanted to show you, so I'm going to add it to the end of the video. This is kind of what was driving our application, uh, was pulling this data back. It helped when you talk to somebody who knows what this stuff is, um, as far as Spectrum and DA goes, or PM, because, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I'm learning it, <laughs> because I'm having to do it, but that doesn't mean I know what it is. Anyway, so with seeing that, 
Uh, good luck, and I hope this is helpful.